Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me again on this uh, video series for the giant commission I've been doing. Um, I'm going to just call these the next video in the series rather than day five, day six, day seven, that kind of thing, because I've decided that I'm gonna probably going to put two or three days worth of uh, progress into a single video. It's, it's easier for my time um, to edit them and uh, just makes more sense. So this is just the next one in the series. Uh, I hope you uh, have uh, had a chance to look at the previous videos that I've done. If not, you can find links in the playlist above. Um, and today I'll be working on the uh, center valley uh, part of the commission uh, with the stream and I'll uh, be adding some bushes and some detail and stuff, I think. And uh, we'll see if we get any farther on that. So let's get to it. All right, welcome back. Uh, as I said, uh, today I'm going to be working on the center uh, section, uh, adding some more detail to the stream. There were some little braided islands in the stream. You can see that I've got a uh, uh, photo printed out and mounted onto foam core, which helps a little bit. On a smaller piece, I just often have the, uh, the photo up on my computer monitor, which is right next to my regular uh, easel, but this is just too big for that, so I printed out some reference so I can work on the details. Trying to get some uh, depth into this valley, so we're working along. This is probably that old stream bed that was there, and I'm here starting to add uh, some hill going up into the area where there's going to be more trees. Really just the process of slowly refining everything that was done the day before and adding more detail and more depth and more texture. Nothing too fancy about it. I am going to be working on a couple of ideas. Uh, I think in the, right around here I'm starting to add some some trees, yes, and we'll see how those look. Really, trees are kind of the bane of my existence, as I probably said before. But that's just about it for day five. Good morning. Uh, this is part two of the part four video series, which means it's day five. No, day six. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, today we're going to work, continue work what I started yesterday on this middle section. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with that for the whole day or I may try to continue to work on figuring out the trees. The trees are going to be the defining issue for me in this. I think everything else is going to be pretty straightforward, but I got to figure out how to make the trees work uh, to my satisfaction. Uh, so we'll see. I'm not sure what we'll do today, but uh, we're going to get some more work done. So we'll catch you at the end. All right, so today working on defining the rocks more, part of the, the waterfall. Going to be a really critical part of the painting because that's where your eye's going to follow it down and the stream from the back to the rock, so that's really important to get this nailed. Uh, there'll be lots more to do on this part, but uh, it's sort of getting a better idea of what's going to go on here. Working on a little pool at the, at the bottom of the rocks, which may or may not change, I'm not sure. But just just defining it and, and uh, widening it up a little bit. There was on the original photo there was some rocks on the uh, right hand side as well, so I decided to add those. Uh, the probably the most important thing I'm going to do today is figure out exactly what I'm going to do with the trees. I'm going to try a couple of things uh, just to make sure that I know exactly what. I want to do with the trees because as I mentioned before trees are the bane of my existence and uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to approach them yet in this particular piece. I will be trying a slightly different kind that I had 
on day two or three, I guess it was. I had some sort of cone-shaped ones up on the uh, upper left-hand side, which are out of view right now. Uh, but they're sort of there. Um, just adding some more texturing to the ground. That's basically what I do at this point, is just add shadows and lights and, and to add some texture and so it feels more than just a flat open space because it's never flat. Also trying to uh, sort of increase the, ah, uh, there we go, we're going to try some trees now. But here's a hint, I don't like them. I don't like them now, I don't like them when I didn't, when I did them. So, uh, they definitely weren't, aren't the way that I want to go. But you got to try these things to see how they fit in. Would be much easier if I was doing fully sort of realistic trees because you sort of know what that looks like but I have to fit them in with my style and realistic trees just aren't my style at least not when I'm doing this kind of stuff so it's just a matter of trial and error mostly error uh, lots of trial That's just adding some more shading and depth to that hill to make it more look more like a hill. And I think that's working pretty well there. Some perspective. Oh, and there go the trees. I just uh, painted them out, so there you go. Didn't like those. Kind of have to figure out something else. It's morning in the studio again, um, day probably six, seven, I forget, I'm not sure, I don't think it matters anymore. I do know it's a Wednesday, I think. Um, yesterday I worked on this uh, lower center section, the rocks, defining the rocks a lot more, working on this area over here, and that went pretty well. Then I tried doing some work with trees and if you watch the video from yesterday you'll see some trees in this area which I painted out immediately because I hated them and so I think to maybe what I'm going to do today is see what I can do in this area over here to make the tree thing work I just don't know uh, exactly what I'm going to do I've decided I really don't like the pyramid cone trees though, like I've got over in this area over here, which you can't see. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, that's part of this process is figuring out how to make this all work. And uh, so let's get to it. Okay, so uh, day seven, starting out uh, working on the center with some more detailing on the ground beside the stream, adding some depth and layer to it, making it look less like a flat plane again. Painted in a little cross stream there, which is going to get painted out right away. And uh, I do that a lot. I'll, I'll try something and if it doesn't work, I'll just get rid of it. And so off it goes. And just adding some detailing. One of the things that uh, I did today was try something new with the trees because I've been struggling with that. So for one thing I thought well let's cover some of those trees up with another bit of mountain so I added actually some more mountains. And then I went to this full geometric thing which I'm doing to sort of give you a hint that it's trees but that really isn't trees. I do like it, I've done it before and it, it works quite well I think. 
it's fun to do, for one thing. I, it, I think it looks really cool. But it's one of those things that can work or not work, and we'll see how this goes. I do, like I said, I do really enjoy painting it because it's just fun to play with the way the light goes on all of the shapes. But that's about it for day seven. Well, that was a day of absolutely huge changes. Um, I actually decided to give up on the trees. I wasn't liking them at all. and. Uh, I decided to do this geometric shape, which suggests trees, but really isn't trees, but I, I kind of like it. It's something very similar to what I did for the last piece for this client, so it fits in with the style that I know they like. I like it, I think, quite a bit. Um, it does require a bunch of changes. I already started working on the area in here to make that more in line. This area will have to change completely. The rocks will change some as well, um, so it's got to be more geometric. But I'm excited about that because it, I think it's working really well, and uh, uh, it really has been a good day. I can get rid of all of this stuff tomorrow, and I'm going to be really happy about that because then it's really looking t towards what I was envisioning to start with. So if you uh, if you're interested in following along, um, be sure to check out the playlist I've got that shows the rest of the, um, the process, right from building the canvas all the way up to this stage. And as you can see, things change rapidly sometimes. Uh, so, you know, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I upload uh, new videos. And, uh, you know, like it if you like it, and uh, certainly give us a comment in the, in the comments below if, you're, if you've got something to say. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.